Thanks Paisley. African American men sometimes face serious health challenges. In Contact went to Eagles Land and Family Practice in Stockbridge to talk to Dr. Marcus Allen about some of the most common health challenges that black men face. The issues that I see that's prevalent among my African American patients would be heart disease being number one, and then number two would be various forms of cancer. So we have lung cancer, prostate cancer, and colon cancer being number three. And uh, specifically, I would say among the cancers, colon cancer is the one that's more prevalent in African-American patients. According to Minority Health, per 100,000, there are 518.9 cancer cases among black men. Dr. Marcus Allen from Eagles Landing Family Practice explains how cancer works inside the body. Cancer in itself is a very simple but very complex thing. Um, in a simple form, it's just a mutation of our cells that allow our cells to continuously grow. So our normal cells, they have uh, a signal in there that tells them, hey, you need to stop growing and then they eventually, you know, die and serve their purpose. Cancer cells no longer have that signal. So they continue to grow and continue to multiply. And when that happens, they start to take the energy and nutrients from our regular cells and that causes us to get sick and causes the organs to, to fail. According to Your Health, nearly 44% of black men have heart disease. Dr. Allen says heart disease is due to what people eat. African Americans, we love our food, right? We love our soul foods, our butters, our grease. Um, we like to drink a lot of you know, sugars and sweets and everything. So all those things combined um, attack our blood vessels and leads to a buildup in our blood vessels. And that leads to blockages in our heart. And when you get a blockage of blood flow to your heart, that leads to heart disease, like uh, heart attacks and strokes. So long story short, it's mainly diet that causes it. It's a little bit of genetics that plays a role, but mostly diet. He says a good diet consists of eating your meats baked rather than fried or sauteed, and also having half of your plate consists of vegetables with no butter, no cheese, and no salt. I know it sounds boring and bland, but that's gonna you know, carry you on through the rest of your life. Then for carbs, again, good carbs are just going to be like your brown rice, um, sweet potatoes, but not like the candy yams, just a baked sweet potato, no butter, no sugar, no cinnamon, none of that. Um, quinoa is another whole grain that's very good as well. And then outside of that, um, you have to eat your fruit, good fruits to eat. Um, berries are going to be your best fruits. They have a lot of fiber and fiber is good for um, keeping you regular and keep you going to the bathroom. And they're low in sugar. So the berries are their strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, and blackberries. Um, and then other fruits that are good are bananas and oranges. So essentially you should eat that, um, some form of that meal three times, three to five times a day. And for steaks, he said it's best to eat them. Medium, and you can maybe do medium well. Not only should you eat right, but Dr. Allen also encourages men to get regularly scheduled physicals. Some men fear going to the doctor, but Dr. Allen says men should step out of their comfort zone. Regular checkups definitely are important. That's just uh, to see, you know, make sure your weight is good, make sure that your diet is good, and make sure that your blood work is good. And then the purpose of checkups um, is to do screenings. And these screenings help us catch these cancers and heart disease and things help us catch it earlier. If we could catch these things earlier, then uh, the prognosis uh, is much greater. Now men should go to the doctor for a physical at least once a year. And if you think something is wrong with your body or your body's giving you certain signals, go see a doctor and get it checked out. Back to you, Paisley.